Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. And um Okay. Um this is a reshoot. I did this video a few weeks back and didn't realize it until I was editing, but there was a ton of background noise. I was um I was traveling a few weeks back. I was I was kind of out of town. And, uh, huh, yeah, the, the neighbors kind of decided that they were doing renovations, which kind of irritated me. Uh, anyway, let's get into the Cradle of Monsters review. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna say it right now that I don't, I can't recommend this as a series. It's not a bad series, it's just, I don't know, there, there are better ones. Um, I gave my first impressions. Good grief, that was almost a month, that was about a month ago now. I can't believe it. Um, gave my first impressions, and it's basically, uh, uh, to, to go over the plot like super quick, a group of kids are on this cruise liner and it's sinking and they have to escape and uh, there are zombies that they have to kind of survive and such and um, yeah it's that's pretty much it it's it's a manga that follows this group of kids through the the sinking ship as they try to survive and um, yeah, <laughs> this is kind of the thing. Um, that's the plot, and I mentioned in the first impressions video that it had a lot of um, similarities to a film called The Poseidon Adventure, and I want to do, give a quick correction on that. The film I was actually thinking of was um, a 2006 remake of the Poseidon Adventure called Poseidon. Um, I've seen the film; it's pretty good. And as I said at the first in the first impressions piece, you can line up a couple of frames, like shot for shot, and say, "Oh, you know, they match." Um, which isn't a bad thing; it's just kind of irritating. Um, Characters are kind of another thing. Um, I'm going to go over pros and cons, and then we'll come back to the characters. Um, pros, I mean, the, the, the art style is unique. It kind of stands out. Um, you kind of know which characters are which, even... I mean, that, that's kind of how the art style is. Um, um, the concept is interesting enough. Um, it has kind of been done, and uh, done, and, and if you'll excuse the pun, it, it's kind of been done to death at this point. I mean, we've seen it in how many how many stories now? There's this one, and um, the the Helsing series. Had something similar with the, the ghouls and such. Um, but in terms of school kids outrunning zombies, I the only one I can really think of would be High School of the Dead. And um, that's another, that's to me, I think that's another good manga that I'll probably review. I don't know, you know, maybe. But getting back on track here. Um, the concept is interesting, but it's kind of been done to death. I mean, you can only really do so much with school kids and zombies. So, yeah, there's that. Um, and then, as I said, the art style is pretty unique. It's not great, but it kind it does kind of work. It does kind of stand out, which... In this case, I think that's kind of what you uh, 
um, what you want. Tonally, the whole thing, it, it's dark throughout. It is super depressing. Um, it's dark and frightening and yeah, you, you genuinely feel uncomfortable while reading this. Um, which is nice. Um, it's a nice change of pace from the typical horror series because I mean, if, if we use High School of the Dead as an example, there are moments where you are genuinely uncomfortable and then like on the edge of your seat, scared out of your wits. But, or, or at the very least, you're nervous. But it gets these really dark moments. And then you get another moment that is just complete, it, where it becomes a clown show. And um, it kind of throws a wrench into the works. Suddenly you're not so sure of what you're watch uh, watching. Well, watching, reading, however you want to put it. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of it. Um, I liked how the zombies looked, but and and how the uh, the virus, the the zombie virus, kind of spreads around and how it works. That is really that was really cool. I I quite enjoyed that aspect. Um, unfortunately, that's kind of where the positive stuff ends. Um, I mean, the characters are all, as I said, they all stand out, they're all unique, and they don't do things without a reason. There's always a reason behind what is happening, which is also nice. But that's kind of, as I just said, that's where the positive stuff ends. Because there, there are some issues here that the series just fails miserably. I mean, the, the most egregious error that I can think of is the zombie kind of ex uh, explanation behind the zombie virus. Um, it's kind of... They, they talk about it being a bioweapon experiment. And how, you know, the experiment has now run its course, they've got the results they want, or the, the, the data that they needed, and now they're just going to sink the ship to hide all the evidence. Um, it's kind of, you know, it's rushed, it's a good subplot, but they never elaborate. We never get to see um, the actual cause. We don't know that it's a a bioweapon or what's going on there. Um, yeah, it, it just kind of... And and the experiment itself doesn't make sense either because um, zombies are, at least as far as I'm aware, dead. Like walking corpses. So sinking the ship wouldn't necessarily kill them. Um, Unless the idea is that as the ship sinks, the, the water pressure will kind of crush them, um, which is kind of what I'm guessing. I, I, I don't know. Um, the characters is kind of another sore point. Um, they, there are a few that are likable, but... There are so many characters here that are just, um, you know, sick. You know, they, they are genuinely crazy, psychotic characters, and you hate them with a passion. Um, the zombies are threatening when they're around. They, they're very underused. They don't serve any real purpose. The reason you're so tense is because, while well, reading this, is because the ship can sink at any moment. Um, 
So the the zombies, you may as well have taken the zombies out and said, oh, well, you know, tragic accident. The ship hit something it wasn't supposed to. You know, um, the zombies kind of provide this this tension, I guess. And I would have liked to see more of them. If I'm being very honest, I would have liked to see the zombies be used more, but they weren't, which kind of begs the question, if you're not going to use your zombies, why have zombies in the first place? Um, as I said, as I said before, I, I kind of talked about the characters and the zombies, the experiment and the, the kind of the explanation behind the zombies makes no sense. I mean, why would you why would you sink a ship full of creatures that are dead? And I mean, it's it's kind of established that they feed on flesh to kind of regenerate from wounds and such. That they take on the the traits of whatever it is they feed on. So wouldn't they just feed on the the low? Wouldn't first of all. As I said, they're already dead, so unless the water pressure crushes them as the ship goes down, they would survive, essentially, and, and just sort of float there at the bottom of the ocean, feeding on, you know, fish and sharks and whatever, you know, comes into the ship to see what's going on. Um, and subsequently take on the traits of whatever it is they feed on, and basically, you know, survive that way. Um, yeah, it, it's, I don't know. And then, you know, there's also the little matter of poisoning the water source. I mean, You know, the, there's kind of this parasite thing that latches on, which causes the infection. And, you know, I mean, what's to stop that thing from latching onto a fish, which subsequently ends up on someone else's dinner table? Um, you've, you know, poisoned somebody, or at least put the, the risk of poisoning out there. Um, so, again, doesn't really make sense. Um, the other problem that I have for this series is the gore. Now, I read, I think, the first volume of Helsing. I read Cradle of, ah, Cradles of, Cradle of Monsters. High School of the Dead, I've read... Um, I've read a, a couple of different series over the years. A lot of horror series. and that, They've all had... A level of gore to them, um, but the gore here just doesn't serve a purpose. Um, I I can handle gory imagery in terms of a manga, but it has to serve a purpose. Um, and in this case, it just doesn't. Um, you know, you're, you're, you're looking at it and going, well, what was the point of this? The only real purpose that the gore here serves is to make us want to puke. And, um, yeah, it, it's just really gross to watch. Um, kind of unfold, and yeah, so I don't know, it, it's just kind of odd, and the way I, I categorize going in two categories, you get shock factor, which demonstrates a point, uh, a good example would be Friday, Friday the 13th, um, you're you um, get to a point in the original Friday of the 13th, uh, the Ned character 
walks into a cabin to investigate something and he appears later on in the film um, with his, his throat's been cut um, and that tells us we've been watching somebody's been watching the, the counselors throughout the day this guy goes to investigate when he reappears his throat's been cut so this kind of tells us that oh okay the person watching them is a killer um, they're targeting the counselors you know they have no problem killing kids Ah, out of coffee again. Oh well. Um, and then the other um, kind of gore is gore for amusement. It, it's kind of there to get a cheer out of the audience. You know, the guy who, if you watched Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters, that's a good example. At one point, this guy walks into the bar. He's been um, jinxed. One of the, the the dark witches put a, a curse on him, and he ended up eating all these bugs. And um, subsequently, walks into a bar and promptly explodes, um, putting blood and guts and gore all over the place. It's gory, over the top absurd and it just gets a laugh every time I see it and for, and that's kind of the thing gore has to serve a purpose either to kind of demonstrate what our antagonist is capable of um, or to get a to get a laugh and a cheer out excuse me out of the audience Really. Car just drove past the window. Hope it doesn't pop up in editing. But you know, kind of going back here. Um So you have to have a purpose behind your gore, and Cradle of Monsters unfortunately does not have that. There are very few exceptions where the gore serves a point to the story very very few times and the gore just doesn't happen for any particular reason other than to have disgusting imagery um, so yeah um, would I recommend this no probably not um, it's not a bad series and if you want to check it out you know more power to you. I personally think that there are better horror series out there to watch. Oh, there I go again. I'm confusing reading with watching things again. But there are better horror series out there. This one's okay. The problem is that it could have been more than okay. It could have been, you know, absolutely fantastic. But it wasn't. You know, I mean, unlikable characters, underused zombies, subplots that don't make any sense. You know, there's a lot of wasted potential here. And the bottom line is that I, I can't recommend this. I've read it, I think, two or three times now. And... I mean, yeah, it's okay to, to kill time with, but frankly, there are better series out there. There are better horror series and better zombie series out there if you're into that kind of thing. So would I recommend it? No, probably not. But if you want to check it out, you know, I'm not going to stop you. I'm not going to laugh at you for checking it out. Um, I just, I personally would not recommend it. Um, yeah, that, that's kind of my, my thoughts on that. Um, so, yeah, um, those are my thoughts on the Cradle of Monsters manga. 
Let me know what you guys thought of this. Have you read it? Have you read the series? Yes or no? Are you likely to read it? Why or why not? Um, and yeah, just let me know what your thoughts on the manga. It you know what whatever thoughts you may have had on the manga while you were reading it. Um, overall, did you like it? Did you not like it? You know. Drop all that good stuff in the comment section down below. I will be seeing you guys for the next video. And, um, thank you guys for watching. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to say it again. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Cheers, guys.